Something something, too much of a good thing, said somebody. This is usually true when it comes to limited product inventory. Let's say you sell t-shirts, and you have certain numbers in stock. You don't want to mislead customers and let them buy thousands of each. So we'll cover three things. Tracking inventory of products, updating inventory quantities, and finally, we'll talk inventory for product variants. Product inventory. From our e-commerce panel, we can go into a specific product, and from that product, we can turn on inventory tracking. Let's say we have 30 of these t-shirts in stock, just type 30, and then go over and hit save. Quick note, once you save, make sure to publish your project. That's setting inventory. How do we update? Answer, magic. Each time customers buy something, the stock is updated. If you acquire more product, you can manually update the stock quantity at any time. What about low quantity or out of stock? The Add to Cart button will actually stop someone from ordering more than the available inventory, the current items that are in stock. They can't order 6 billion items because there aren't 6 billion items in stock. And if the available inventory hits zero, if we run out of this product, our Add to Cart button will show its out of stock state. We have a separate guide on Webflow University that shows how to style different states like out of stock, so check that out if you're interested. Finally, let's talk variants. You can also enable and disable inventory tracking for each variant when you're editing the variants details. You can set the inventory, the stock quantity, for each variant separately. You can do this from the variant settings. You can set stock for each variant. So, takeaways. You can track inventory by tracking the inventory. You can update the quantities. You can't buy 6 billion t-shirts. And finally, you can set up tracking inventory for product variants. That's tracking inventory in Webflow e-commerce.